Adobe Illustrator artboards operate like digital canvas areas where you can create and arrange your artwork. It's a great feature for creating and managing multiple layouts all within the same file. When you start a new file in the preset details area, you will see there is a place to choose your number of artboards. Rest assured that artboards can be added and deleted later. I will select four artboards and then go to more settings. If you don't see more settings, click on advanced options. The more settings window offers customization on how much space you want between your artboards and how you would like your artboards arranged in your workspace. You can select and change the number here too. I'll bump up the number a bit more, choose arrange by row, and then change the spacing to an eighth of an inch. Once in your workspace to further customize your layout, click on the artboard tool. Then you can click and drag an artboard to move it around. You can duplicate a selected artboard by holding down the option or alt keyboard key and then dragging it. Or you could use the copy and paste functions. At the top control bar, I'll click on Rearrange All to enter some of the edit settings. I can change up the layout again, including the rows and spacing. I'll change it to two rows and see how it looks. If you don't like it, you can go back and change it however many times you want. Notice that the artboard bounding box, when selected, has handles. We can change the artboard size in this way. Up at the control bar, we can use the Add Artboard option. We can also select any artboard and delete it by using the Delete key on the keyboard. Next, I want to draw a B to demonstrate how the artboard moves when we continue to customize our workspace. Go back to Rearrange All and take note of the option Move Artwork with Artboard. It is currently checked. I will change the layout and as you can see, the B remained with its artboard. Now let's go back and uncheck that option. Change the layout again, and notice that the B did not move with the artboard. I could undo this action or move the B back to an artboard. I'm going to create another text box to demonstrate a few ways we can save and export this file. I'll move this A so that it overlaps onto two different artboards. Now let's go to the File dropdown and Export. If I do not check Use Artboards, the preview panel shows us how the file will save. It will export as one file that saves to the edges of the bounding boxes. It saves like this because I had expanded the B's bounding box. Let's try another way. This time I will check Use Artboards. Notice that we have a choice on selecting all artboards or specific artboards. I'll export all for this one. The preview window isn't helpful here, so I'll show you my finder window. Here are all eight of my artboards that were just saved, all saved as individual files. Let's try one more way of exporting. I'll check Use Artboards again, but this time I'll select Range. Then I'll choose artboard number two. The preview is accurate here. The second artboard contains only the top part of the A. It'll export just this one file. As you can see, the Artboard tool is super useful for creating multiple layouts within a single Illustrator document.